Well, The View's Sonny Hostin is under fire online after suggesting that former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley hid her Indian heritage in a bid to further her political career. Let's watch. I'd love to see Nikki Haley. And Nikki Chris Haley, the new. chameleon. I think that Nikki Haley was an incredibly effective governor of South Carolina. Again? There, was some, there are some of us that can be chameleons and decide not to embrace our ethnicity so that we can pass. Sonny, so I don't that think that's don't fair. Have, you call by a different name. Yeah. Haley hit back at The View during an appearance on Fox News yesterday. Let's watch. They can't stand the fact that a minority female would be a conservative Republican. You know, when I ran for um, when I ran and won governor, um, a, a reporter went to a high ranking African-American Democrat female and said, how do you feel that South Carolina now has their first minority governor? And she said, Nikki Haley's not a minority. She's just a oh. conservative with a tan. They let liberals say that about conservative Republican minorities all the time. But yet nothing is done. Had this been said about a Democrat, all hell would have broken loose. Yeah, I think she's entirely right. This is where having a very reductive view of identity politics get you, gets you. Democrats have been playing this game for a really long time where they emphasize representation to the exclusion of all else. Now, I think representation is valuable, but you can't basically use that as a stand-in for substantive politics, or you're going to be confronted by the reality that people whose politics you don't agree with mm -hmm. also come in different colors and genders and sexual orientations. And now Democrats really are losing their mind over the fact that there are, frankly, there's a lot of diversity within the, the Republican Party. I observed in 20. 20, that the RNC had more diversity than the DNC. Yeah, I mean, what Asuncion Sonny Hostin <laughs> got wrong about this subject is that actually, uh, far from hiding her minority status or heritage, um, and Nikki Haley has has like embraced it to show that to to refute the main the mainstream media or democratic notion or whatever it is that you know there are no. There are no people of color or women or whatever in the Republican coalition. In fact, the Republican coalition loves to go, look, we have minorities and who support no, us. No one's doing identity politics as well as Republicans I, these days, I, I got to say. I think that's true. I, yeah. I think that, well, a lot and, of it. But of her, they, do not, but yeah. they do not shy away from saying, they do not at all try to hide or cover up the fact that they have some minorities supporting them. Yeah. When they have minorities supporting them, they th look at this minority yeah, supporting them. They put them right just behind Trump at the rally. against groomers, right? <laughs> right. They, 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 want, they, yeah. they want to, people who are Republican, who, who are not you know, what the Democrat or mainstream media considers as a typical Republican, that's the first thing that they yeah. want to tell you about themselves to disabuse you of that notion. Yeah. So it's just, it's just totally, like it's living in a different world, a different planet, to think that is being suppressed or hidden. Yeah. Moreover, look, a lot of immigrant groups that come to America experience pressure to assimilate, including changing their names to make, it, make them easier to say mm -hmm. by Americans. This is a pressure that a lot of people have been under, including Barack Obama, who famously went as Barry until he was well into adulthood, right? So while I personally might have feelings about, you know, people who kind of submit to that pressure versus stand up to it, and I would like to think that we all could live in our truths and be big, bad, and proud and, and use the names that were given to us, I also think there's something a little bit perverse and unfair to take that social pressure that people experience, which is negative and really hard for immigrant kids to deal with, and make conclusions, draw some conclusion about how she feels about her heritage inside and her relationship to her culture and her community. It may or may not be true on a case-by-case -case basis with various individuals. Some people might be ashamed of where they came from, but I don't think it's fair to say that just because somebody ch changes their name. And as you pointed out, and as they pointed out on The View, Sonny <laughs> Hostin has also gone by a simplified yeah. name. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make doesn't make any name. doesn't yeah. make any sense. Um, I, a, a very funny example of a of of being uh, of, of facing political pressure to change your name, obviously, on the Republican side is uh, Ronna Romney McDaniel, the RNC chairwoman who dropped the Romney from her name, uh, <laughs> demanded as after that was demanded by the Trump people. <laughs> I have no idea. Did I know? Did not heard Ronna about that Romney one. McDaniel is just Ron, <laughs> Ronna McDaniel now. And on the other side, we have um, Beto O'Rourke. Ro Robert, <laughs> right. Robert right. Beto O'Rourke, right. who's, you know, Bateau. some people argue are ma is making a, 
a play to the Latino population in a Texas. A very cynical by, play. That, yeah. Uh, yeah. Although he have, I should say that he's gone by the name Beto since he was a little kid, but his father also was a public figure who may have been playing the long game there. Yeah. <laughs> so who knows what that was about. But again, I think we should all stay away from trying to read into the psyches and family dynamics and culture dynamics of politicians and just criticize them on their mayors. There's a lot of things substantively that I don't agree with Nikki Haley on. A lot of things substantively I don't agree with Nikki right. Haley on and, either. And the people in The View could have educated their audience about no, those things. Even, right. She's a little bit out of step with, uh, well, she's gone back and forth on how she feels about Trump personally. Uh, she's definitely more in the in a kind of Bushian, mm -hmm. uh, neoconservative mm -hmm. mold. I don't know that she's a full full-flung neoconservative, but she's definitely more into that camp than, than, uh, than, than the new right or any mm -hmm. of that. So that would be a really interesting mm -hmm. you know, conversation to have or, or tension to ferret out. Mm -hmm. But of course, they, have, they have, don't know anything about that. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's too much to get into for the people. We'll just, they're just going to make fun of her name. But. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, point Nikki Haley. Point Nikki Haley. We'll leave it point there. Score. <laughs> we'll have more rising for you after this.